In this video, I'm going to share why people believe in manifestations and why they use manifestations and how you can, by just simply understanding this process, you will be able to manifest your dream reality. My name is Rohit. I've been studying law of attraction and manifestation for years now. And my goal with this channel is to help people expand their awareness and get in touch with their higher self, help them create that dream reality. So why use manifestation? The first question is why use manifestation? We live in this, as it seems from uh, your eye, your viewpoint, that we live in this 3D reality where everything is about strategies, tactics, your actions, Everything is about doing things in the physical world. And uh, it's not to say that those things don't matter or those things don't impact the way we live our, live our lives. They do. Those things matter. Those things impact our lives. Now, the, the question becomes is, if everything was about tactics, if everything was about strategy, if everything was about information, then why do most people do not have the results which they want? Never ever in the history of humankind we have, have so much abundance of information. Basically, we have information for free on blogs, on YouTube, on podcasts, related to anything. It could be business, health, nutrition, dating, relationships relationships, spirituality, you think about any topic and there is a free information source which gives a very high quality information. Right? Or you can buy some really great books for very, very affordable prices or some really great courses on a very affordable prices which tell you the how to, the technical, the tactical side of things. And despite that, people are not getting results. Why is that? So it, if it was just about the tactics, everyone should have it. Everyone, if it was just about becoming a writer, a great writer, everyone would be a great writer. But there are very few who make it to the top. There are very few who are successful. Why is that? And if you dig a little bit deeper into history of a lot of these people, you realize that in one form or the other, either consciously or unconsciously, they have been manifesting their success. A lot of these authors, uh, if you look at the history of a lot of these authors, some of them, they actually believed even before they released that book that this book has huge potential and it, it will make them super famous or super rich or super successful, whatever they wanted. And a lot of these people actually believed in themselves before or in their vision even before it actually came to fruition before it actually came to reality so if it was just about tactics then we should all have the results that's when the missing puzzle piece of manifestation of visualization whatever people want to use law of attraction whatever term they want to use comes in that is where the missing piece is now the second point so this is very common. You might have seen uh, other people, uh, maybe in your life, you might have seen two people equally talented, equally capable. What one person has incredible results and the other person, despite working as hard doing the same things, they don't have the same kind of results. So this person has incredible results, but this person is still struggling and they don't have the same kind of results. Why is that? This is something we need, we all need to think about is why this person has a lot of results and this person does not. Despite both of them having the same education, same thing, and why is that? You know, there, I even have seen, I personally know a couple of twins, and one of them is quite successful, even though they were raised in the same childhood, they basically studied in the same school, they kind of consumed the same information, they used to play together, work together. But one of them is way more successful than the other one. And why is that? Is it just about hard work? Is it just about being in the right place in the right time? But all these two people, people had the same opportunities. Why is one person more successful and one person seems like they're living the dream life and the other person seems like they are constantly struggling, constantly struggling to get their one. And the more they try, the harder it gets. 
a lot of people when they uh, actually come to manifestation and they start looking at law of attraction manifestation they have actually been through a lot of struggle through a lot of hard work and despite doing all this hard work and all the struggles they're not getting the results they're not getting the results and that is when they turn to manifestation but that's point number two and point number three and so point number three is why some of the most successful people on the planet have hit rock bottom they have been in spots where they almost lost everything if you look at in the history in the past a lot of people they almost lost everything Abraham Lincoln okay if you think about any modern people right like Elon Musk he almost lost everything Steve Jobs he lost his job he lost his position for him it was a big loss so a lot of these super successful people if you look at some actors they were basically broke they were waiting tables they didn't have any money they were struggling like anything so all these people all of them they despite they have all of them have hit rock bottom and then they became super successful so how did they do it how did they do it a lot of them had the know-how before and a lot of them have been doing the same things which they were asked to they are trying to do all the physical things in the world but they're not getting the results or they're getting some results here and there but it's not consistent and they're not able to live the happy life the li their dream life and it always seems elusive they are always losing out to this person or that person and they're always running away and they're always struggling and we have to think about it is why why this person is struggling so much why they're having such a hard time such a tough time uh, creating something so that's a very important thing to consider so if we know all these three things okay let me go through them quickly why in this practical world despite all the tactics and everything people still struggle number two why two people who seem to have the same resources the same knowledge the same and they put in the same effort one person is more successful than the other and why some of the most successful people on the planet have been at rock bottom if you study these people or these people thoroughly and if you look at what they have done in the past what they have really done is change the concept of themselves either it happened through circumstances or through events or by their taking action but they went and finally came into a state of consciousness of that successful person of that person successful in a business or a career or in relationship so they had this success in their mind's eye first in their consciousness first before it became a reality so everything was in their mind's eye first before it became a reality in the 3d world so that is when i say that is what people i tell people that they should understand is that it is not about it is not about just working hard it is not just about reading or consuming as well information or always being in the right place at the right time it is not about those things the first thing and the most important thing is to live in the end is to already believe and feel in your bones that you already have the desire you want you already at the end you already the successful writer author um, publicist whatever you want to be a sports star a movie star singer songwriter could be anything you already are that and you live you embody that state and you live that state throughout your day you don't have to be in that state all the time it's very difficult to just stay in one state all the time but majority of your waking time even when you're not awake you live in that state you embody that state even if the 3d world says uh, is 3D world is giving you a completely different uh, outlook. A 3D world is giving you a completely different reality. Despite all that, you live in the end. And that is why people use manifestation. Because 
if you think about it, they have read all the books, they have tried all the things, they have been working hard, they have spent a lot of money, they have spent resources, they have tried all the tactical things there is, they have consumed a lot of information, and despite that, they're not able to get results. And then you meet some this person. I remember um, this this kind of funny. I know one of the guys, he's a business coach, and he, uh, he said one of the biggest, uh, like, like mind-boggling experiences he had is like he was friends with someone in his university and that person was not smart they were not a grader students they were not even b or c they were basically failing all the time and they somehow made it to the school and people you know sometimes some people get bad grades and we know that they are not as intelligent but some people get bad grades and you know they are super smart but this person who was failing they were not super smart and they were not super intelligent and they were not any exceptional hard worker but despite that this business coach met that person after years maybe after six seven ten years and that they find out that this person who who, who was not as smart as them not as hardworking and not as some um, as uh, you know connected as them had better results in their business they were making three times the money this business coach was making and it blew his mind it blew his mind that how this person, and despite all his external appearance, you know, even people who know him, they never could understand why he was so successful as a, at, a, at his business. So the real key denominator in this success was their consciousness, was the, the thoughts they held in their mind, the belief, the self-image, they held in their mind and that's what manifested in their real 3d world and sometimes that's why people who are too intelligent they sometimes struggle with this because i mean i also fall into this trap sometimes i'm too logical and when it comes to manifestation we have to leave the logic out of the picture because it might seem totally illogical but only when you test it and you must test it to see if it works and once you test it you will see the power of manifestation you will understand how powerful it is and and it doesn't take incredible amount of hard work it doesn't take incredible amount of information or you know struggles or anything like that it is very and it sometimes almost feels effortless so that's all i wanted to share in this video if you found this video helpful please like this video so it can reach more people please subscribe to this channel and if you had any experiences like that and if you know someone or if you know, if you want to share about yourself why you're manifesting please post them in the comment section below i would love to know your thoughts and until then have a magnificent day and i wish you great success at your manifestations cheers